Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and today in session with Sumit, we will look at how we can work with the subplot functionality provided with matplotlib package. Now it happens multiple time when you are trying to plot uh, multiple subplots, uh, you, you find very difficult to work with for loops and to, to automate the process of plotting multiple plots. So let's try to look at a, dom uh, a demonstration which will help you to uh, do this process easily, okay? So what we can do, first of all, you can see that I have one file which is known as telcochurn.csv. So I'll import pandas and I will also import and I will import matplotlib. Dot pyplot as plt. So let's run it. Now let's load the file pd dot read underscore csv as so my file name is telco underscore churn dot csv. So df dot head. So this is my data that I have. Okay. Now let's say I wanted to plot uh, the subplots for all the categorical variables with respect to the churn. So let, let, let's first of all do it without the for loop. So let's say I wanted to, f uh, I wanted to find the count of uh, the partner. So how many, uh, or maybe let's say dependent. So how many dependent as no belongs to churn uh, churn is equal to yes and how many yes belongs to churn is equal to no so let me do it and then it will make more sense what I'm trying to say so subplot so what we'll do we will first of all use the subplot functionality uh, subplot and here you need, we need to mention the number of rows number of columns and then the plot number so this particular function plt dot subplot it takes the total number of rows comma uh, total uh, number of columns and the plot number so uh, if this is not making sense to you uh, let me just show you a very good example let's say i wanted to plot five plots something like this So in this particular case, the number of rows will be three. So this is my row number one. This is my row number two. And this is my row number three. So I have three row and the number of columns will be two columns. So column number one, column number two. So I have, so plt dot subplot. I have uh, three rows, two columns. Now for this particular plot, which is this one, this will be plot number one, this will be plot number two, this will be plot number three, this will be plot number four, this is plot number five. Now remember one thing that you can't have plot number zero. So this number starts always from one. Okay. So, um, yeah. So let's do this. Let me comment this completely. And let me write a new code plt dot subplot. So I wanted to plot two subplots side by side. So I will have one row and two columns. So one comma two and this is my plot number one. Now let's take one of the columns. So I will I will use the um, sns dot count plot. Now in this, I will have, um, let's say senior city or maybe partner. So column name is partner. Oh, sorry, partner P capital. And I can now mention U is equal to uh, my target column is John. So u is equal to churn 
and finally your data so data is equal to df so this is my plot number one let's run it and check oh sorry i don't have seaborn package so let's import seaborn as sns it's done now let's check this so i have one plot right similarly i can write plt dot subplot for the for the next plot so this will be one comma two comma two so again this thing will remain constant only the plot number will change so this is plot number one this is plot number two okay so i will again copy the same code but instead of partner i may take some other column dependent maybe so let's put it over here so now you will be having two plots okay uh there is some issue oh sorry 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 this is 1 comma 2 comma 2 so now you have two plots side by side you can also change the shape or the figure size so plt dot figure fig size is equal to 10 comma or maybe 5 comma 10 5 is my breadth 10 is my height so height is so much so let it put 5 5 comma 5 and put, let's put it this 10 so width is 10 breadth is 5 so now you have a clear two clear plots okay now if, I, if you wanted to do this thing uh, without writing this code multiple times but using the the uh, the for loop the way you can do it so for that particular thing first of all you need to filter out the name of the columns so let's check the column names that i have and let's say i wanted to work with so let me create a feature list so for my feature list i will have all these columns uh, let's take all these columns and i will remove this one because this is a continuous variable and apart from this everything is a is a categorical variable so this is my feature matrix uh, this is my feature list now what i will do i will i will write a function that is that is enumerate now first of all let's look at what this enumerate will do so this enumerate will return you so let me use the list functionalities so that we can look at the output so it will return you the uh, the the tuple with the index number and the column name so index number zero column number gender index number one column name is senior citizen and so on so total we have 16 columns is starting from 0 to uh, 0 to 15 so now what i will do i will write a for loop for i in enumerate enumerate features features now what i will do i will write the subplot functionality first of all now in the subplot i need to mention the number of rows so we have 16 columns so if you wanted to have three plots in one row so in that case you will be having um, three fives of 15 then one more so you will be having six rows so if you wanted to have four plots then it in case you'll be having four rows so let's keep uh, the three plots in one row so in that case i have uh, six rows six comma how many columns so three plots in each row so this means three columns then this is my plot number one so plot number one what i can use i can use this number so i will say i of zero now what is i i will be this tuple i will be this tuple and i of zero will be this number now remember as i have told you that this that the the plot number cannot be zero so in that case i will add one one to it so that this number can be converted to one and this can be converted to and so on now once you have this subplot functionality you can write the actual plot functionality which is basically your this count plot 
now in this count plot you need to remove this part and you need to add i of 1 now what is i i is basically this particular tuple this is i of 0 and this is i of 1 so here we are providing the column name okay now let's run this okay uh, i have not i have not so this is feature and this is features okay so it will take some time you can see all the plots are there but it is very much in a bad shape so let's change the figure size plt dot figure then fig size is equal to let's let keep the uh, the breadth as 15 and the height as 30 so it will again you can see that you have all the plots in a very clear way now you can see that there are some problems with these names these labels so how you can overcome this problem this is that is again very simple you can use this plt dot x text function and you can rotate your labels the x labels so rotation is equal to 90 degree or maybe 45 degree so as you can see all the labels are rotated 45 degree and you can see this label is also very clear okay so guys this is how we can uh, make use of the subplot functionality whenever you are trying to plot so many plots and uh, using the for loop you can you make use of this code this code will be available in my description box so you can download it from here, there and don't forget to uh, comment uh, what you think about this video and what you think about my work please don't forget to subscribe this ch my channel and please share with your friends and uh, those who are currently working in the data science field and those who have started working in the data science field so my videos will be very helpful for them till the next video i say goodbye thank you